I think I like the 1960s because there was still an element of glamour, but it's very wearable for today. My name's Nicole. I have a personal style blog called Darling and Dots, and it's all about kind of a vintage inspired lifestyle. I've always been interested in vintage since I was young. I've always just loved music and fashion from the decade. I've been really inspired by movies, TV shows from that time period as well. My favorite movie style-wise is definitely Breakfast at Tiffany's. Won't you join me? What I really like about Audrey Hepburn's character style-wise, she has a very classic and glamorous look in that movie. But as a character, I really like that she's kind of like a strong female character for the 60s and she's very independent. I usually describe my style as girly, quirky, and retro because I mix a lot of vintage and modern with like a kind of quirky or whimsical touch. I went to school for fashion design and in school I was always inspired by vintage clothes and pretty much everything I designed had an uh, influence from the 50s and 60s. I alter a lot of my vintage finds. I take out shoulder pads or cut off a couple inches off the bottom of a dress. It's definitely handy being able to sew. I used to think, like a lot of people, that the 60s were all hippies. And then when I got more into fashion, I realized that that wasn't until the very, very end of the 60s. The 1950s for women, it was a lot of petticoats and full dresses and heels. And in the 60s, people still got dressed and looked very put together, but it's a little more casual. Like I can wear flats and kind of like loose fitting dresses that I think are really easy to wear today. I have different style icons depending on the kind of look that I'm going for. I love Twiggy, Brigitte Bardot. I love a lot of fictional characters too, like Megan and Sally Draper from Mad Men. Usually when I collaborate with a friend, one of us will have an idea I'll go on Pinterest, try and put together specific images that we want to recreate. I was inspired to recreate a scene from Pierre at Lafou, where the guy is saying, do you know what I'm thinking? And she says, I couldn't care less. It kind of, again, goes back to female independence in the 1960s. I was working in fashion for a few years, but I wasn't really loving it, and I liked having my own blog and social media. I found that to be more enjoyable, so I kind of wanted to transition into doing something like that full time. So now I work at an influencer marketing agency. People always ask if I want to live in the 60s, and of course I don't because women were not treated the same as they are today. So when I say I like the 60s, I mean the aesthetics. I don't mean I want the values. <laughs> I think living in New York definitely allows you to express yourself through clothes a lot easier. I feel like there's so many people, everyone can't be worried about how everybody else is dressing. If people want to stare, then it's okay. <laughs> One time a woman asked me why I was dressed how I was and I told her I just like to and she told me that I was a little bit nuts but <laughs> for the most part people are really positive telling me that I inspire them to alter vintage pieces or to mix prints things that they never would have thought to try and put together. With all fashion I feel like everything always comes back in style so I'm sure the 60s are gonna have its moment again.